to the daily draw it's wednesday always try to find something a bit special for a wednesday this is for all your mario lovers out there if you take a look back in the archive we've done yoshi we've done mario we've done toad but this has been a special request so i hope you really enjoy it today's daily draw is princess peach let's get drawing <laughs> So today we are doing what my son's described as the iconic Princess Peach. So if you're looking at this thinking that looks really hard and you're not a confident drawer, do not worry. Everything we do at the Little Art School is about bringing it down and making it really um, step by step so everyone can do it. So that's where we're going to finish. But look where we're going to start. Let's start with these simple steps. And these simple shapes will really help us to build our Princess Peach. You can see we'll do it in, in stages until we get to there. So let's start here with these really simple shapes. So I'm going to do mine on watercolour paper because I'm going to be using watercolour pencils to colour in. If you've not got that, don't worry, just do it on whatever you've got, felt tips, whatever. This is a watercolour sketch pad that we sell at the Little Art School. Um, and it's absolutely amazing. It's really is great value. You can see, look, we've got a Sonic the Hedgehog. I think I've got a Yoshi maybe in here. We've got our James and the Giant Peach there. Oh yeah, there we go. That was our Yoshi done on using watercolor pencils there. So I'm gonna find a clean sheet and you can draw on both sides of this as well. Clean sheet in my book. Just there. And let's get started. So I'm gonna start here by finding the middle of my page. Now, I think the middle of the page there is just about there. So if I go up and I'm gonna draw a really small line, that's all we're gonna do. Now you can either draw along with me and pause it when you need to, or just watch me do this bit and then pause it. Um, there's lots of these daily draw videos and lots of people do them in, in different ways, right? We're gonna start with this rectangle in the center. Look at that, how easy is that? And we've begun. Now let's go at slightly above there, not, not too much, just there like that. And I want you to take another line, but this time we're going to take the line a little bit further than that one. And from there, we've got, she's got a really pointy chin, so we're going to take this down into a real curve, finishing there. And this one, it's got a little bit more of a down there, like that. And we'll finish the curve there. Right, from here, I just want to take it up now. And we're going to put another rectangle. Let's take that across. And on the top here, we've got a triangle, but you can see this will form part of her crown. It's not symmetrical, is it? So if I come in slightly more to there, one, two, and I'll take it down. So we've really made a great start there on what's going to become her face. So let's start on the dress now. If I take this out in a curve here, one, two, down to there. I'm just going to really lightly put a line across that. It's just to help me now. We're going to rub that out later and then work out. I quite often use dots when I'm drawing. I'm going to put a little dot there and just take that out in a sweep. You see? Same here. Little dot there just to help me. Keeping my pencil grip really nice and loose. I can feel it if... If you suddenly start to struggle with your drawing, you feel like it's very tight, really move your, your, your grip up the pencil and really keep it nice and loose. Right, now I'm gonna do a few dots here. I've got one, two, three. And here I'm gonna go one, nice and loosely, two, three, four, and there we're done. We're done with our first stage. Okay, now we're really going to build it up and start putting some of the details in. Everything you can see on this one that's in red, these are the shapes we've put in and we're going to end up rubbing a lot of these lines out, but we'll keep them in for now. And let's start up here on her face. Now, if you feel like that might be a little bit wide, you can take it in. It feels wide, but it's not actually, it's about right. But what I want you to do is look at the shapes within that rectangle there. You see there, we've got a point. So let's go to about there and come up. There's my little dot. I'm going to come 
round to here and up to there. But I'm not going all the way to the top. Did you see that? And then round there to there. And then here, if I come in slightly, I'm going to bring it out to there. Let's go to the top of our rectangle now. We take it out and down and round. So his hair is starting to come in there. Can you see that? We've got another little bit there. All right, let's have a little think about her crown. We've got that bit there. This is simple because we've already got the main shape in. I'm just going to take a line there and in and a line there. And down and actually it curves slightly up there so we can rub those bits out sometimes when you rub the bits out it might take some of the lines you want but don't worry just pop them back in and then we've got this oval shape here which is in the center of her crown okay let's finish off her hair now so using this rectangle as our guide so I'm going to start in there and I'm going to go down to there and then take it up now here, we're going to cut off the corner of the rectangle there. Out, down, out, and then in a curve. Just take your time over that and just keep thinking about your rectangle and what the shapes are in relation to the rectangle. And then, very carefully, we can rub out what was our rectangle. And you can see her face is really starting to take shape there. But we're going to leave that bit now. We'll come back to that later and we'll leave the top of her body here. But what I want to do is to start putting in the shapes that are going to form her arms. So here, find the middle of the box and then come down and a little bit to your left. And what I'm going to do is just curve it. These are going to become her arms. And I've got another shape. It's all about shapes. That one's going to hit the bottom. Round and up. That's all we're going to do on there. But we are going to finish off the dress at this stage because this is a nice easy bit. And we've done all the hard bits, so let's have a little break now. I'm going to bring that down to there. And we'll bring it in a little bit there. And then this line, nice and curvy. Keep your pencil grip nice and loose, coming round. That's it. There. Now here at the bottom, what we want to do is and break the line up here as well. There we go. And some lines coming up. These are important, but you'll see why when we get to the painting stage. And then that red line there, we can rub out. There we go, second stage done, and she is really building. So as I say, if, you, if you've been drawing with me, you can just move on to the next bit. Otherwise, just pause, and then we'll, um, we'll start on the third part. Okay, let's finish her off. Now we have done most of the really hard work here, but what we can do here now is start putting her face in there. So what I want to do is think about that point there, come down below it, and we're just going to put in a little curve. That's all we're doing for a nose. Tiny curve there, a little bit underneath. And then a, the smallest little mouth there. Can you see? And another little shape and that's it it's the eyes i always find it's the eyes that make these characters here so what i want you to do is to think about what you see here coming up and this one let's start with that shape there we're just going to start with a line a dot and we're going to take it up it's almost triangular but with the edges shaped the eyes are really big. And then within the eyes, what we've got is this iris of her big blue eyes takes up a huge amount of space. And then we've got the pupil. So that's the first eye in. Now this one is on a slight angle just below. So think about the space between them. And it's less of a triangle. It's more of an oval. This one here. If I don't get this right first time, I'll just go back and do it. I'm not going to worry about it. It's worth taking your time to get it right. Again, coming up these huge irises. And then the pupil. And she's also got little eyebrows here. So we've got one, two there for the eyebrows. Right, let's finish her off thinking about the face now. 
we've got her hair coming down there and then she's got these earrings. All right, I don't know anything about these um, games, but I do have two boys who tell me, so I don't know whether the earrings are important or anything's important here or not. So you're just gonna, I'm just gonna teach you to draw it, but you can fill it in if you want to change anything because I've missed it out. Right, I'm gonna put in the sleeve now and for the start of the sleeve, I'm gonna come round. There, like that. And there we've got that shape there. And let's finish off her hair here and down. And if I bring her body shape in, thinking about that as the bottom of the arm, if I put just a line here and a line here, that'll start us on the arms because we've already put that in. And then that is the top of the glove there. Right not quite taken that out far enough but let's bring it here the sleeve i'm going to bring that in just a little bit there and at the bot back here what we've got is the hair comes down there too right let's go over to this side now i'm going to start here first with the hands let's not over complicate the hands what we want to do here is just to put in that shape there, curving round and joining. And we've got some fingers, it's really simple. That's all you want to do. And this one isn't even a hand, she's just clasping it there, like that. So if we put her, it come up now to this side, let's put that earring in there. We've got a little bit more hair there. And we've got a curl coming out. And from there, Let's take out, if I put in first of all the collar there, and then we're going to come in round and down. And we can rub out that square. Oops. So we'll rub out the square now. All we've got to do to finish her off is pop in this arm. So we've got that shape coming out. It's just thinking about the shapes, nothing else. And then it curves up and there, like that. And that, I would say, is our Princess Peach all finished. Okay, let's come on to painting our Princess Peach. Now, I'm going to use watercolour pencils. They're a brilliant way to draw. And I'm because I've used my watercolour sketchbook here, I've got the right paper to draw it on. Um, the watercolour pencils are also available on the Little Art School website. You can get the whole lot in a daily draw pack for just £15. All the pencils, paintbrush, everything. It's amazing value. Let me show you, if you've not seen them before, how these pencils work. I'm going to take this, which is a, it looks red, but it's actually more of a pink and it's the pink we're going to use. So there we go. On my watercolour paper, I'm just putting a little mark as if I'm colouring in. Here's the magic. I've got a tiny weeny pot of water. That's all the water you need. You hardly need any. On my paintbrush, I'm going to wet it. And as soon as I touch it, can you see? As soon as I touch it to this, it turns the pencil mark to paint. A little bit of magic there. They are fabulous. So let me put that out of the way. I'm going to start up here in Princess Peach's face. Right, I will show you here this actually. Let's demonstrate this. What we want to do, you saw right there, I pressed quite hard, didn't I? But what I'm going to do now to create this skin colour, this peachy skin colour, which is Princess Peach's skin, I'm going to go very lightly with the red and I'm going to add a touch of yellow to it. Watch now. That is going to give me a really nice light skin colour. So that for Princess Peach. So that's what I'm going to try here. So let's go first here with this. I'm going to go around really light, hardly anything. Got to be quite disciplined here for this, I'm not usually. And I'm going to just put a little bit of yellow in, not much at all. And then it doesn't have to be neat. Can you see that's not neat colouring, is it? But it's the water here that's going to turn it to paint and it's going to mix the colours together. So it's the paintbrush that I'm being very, there. That was a bit quite pink, that bit up there. So I'll take some of the yellow. I'm mixing it on the page. Can you see that? 
That's me turning the pink, but I need more yellow in it. I'm going to take it right down there. Now, I've got that colour on my brush now, so I'm going to go here because there's a tiny bit of flesh showing there under the sleeve. So I'm just going to put that from my brush in there and that's that done now. So we can leave that. So while I'm waiting for that bit to dry, what I'm going to do is just come up because it will dry really quickly. It, take, it doesn't take long at all. But if I try to paint immediately next to it, it can all really run in together. So while I'm waiting for that bit to dry, what I'm going to do is come up here and I'm going to do the crown. And I'm going to go round the crown with orange. But I'm going to colour it in with yellow. If I just did it in yellow, it looks the same as the hair and I want it to be slightly different to the hair. So I'm taking my brush there and I'm bringing that orange into the yellow so that it does look different when we, from when we do the hair. Right, we'll leave that now and I'm going to come on to this um, the skirt here and I'm going to start by showing you how we're going to get that pale pink so that's too dark for me but if I go like that and do an edge with a bit I take my brush I touch it it will give me a lovely pink so let's go around here I'm going quite hard around the edge because I want it These bits, I actually want them to be a bit darker, so I'm going to put those bits in first. I'm going to put colour those a little bit, not much, but just a little bit, so they've got a bit more. And the same here. I've just got like this collar thing there, so I'm going to do that there. And here, at the bottom. Then on these side bits, there's no colouring. I'm just doing that. That's it. So let's start here and then we'll go around the sleeves exactly the same, just going around like that, around that bodice bit and around that sleeve. Right, let's, I'll show you now how we can make this pink very quickly. So I'm touching my wet brush to the edge and it just paints it in. And it also, I'm going around that quite carefully around the gloves because I want them to stay white. It also gives us this lovely outline as well. So I've got quite a lot of water on my brush to get this effect. I'm just touching the edges. And as soon as I touch that bit of paint that I've put there in the center, it'll do the same. Then lots of water, lots and lots of water. I'm avoiding these bits really. I'm gonna to come to those last. So these are watercolor pencils, so it's all about getting, activating it with water. There we go. Now, I'm gonna come here to the bottom and I want that to look a bit darker because I've put that extra bit in. If you want it even darker, just put more pencil marks in. That's how you get lighter and darker is lighter, more water, darker, put more of the, essentially the paint in. And less water, so I'm squeezing my brush out a little bit here so that it looks darker. It's quite subtle. Right, so the next bit, let's start coming on to the details now. I've got my red again, and I'm gonna go just in there. I'm not gonna turn that to paint, I'm just coloring it there. Then I'm gonna take my blue here, and I'm gonna do the color. Oh, sometimes they do that, they break a little, because it's paint around the eyes, and I'm not gonna turn that to paint either, I'm just gonna leave that in. There, like that. And then I'm going to take 
my yellow and we're going to start here on the hair. So I really want this to be nice and bright. So I'm going around the earrings there. And see, it's not like careful colouring in, is it? Because it's, it's the paintbrush that will do all the neat stuff. What we're doing here is just putting the paint onto the paper. Now, I think I forgot this in my drawing, but there is a tiny bit there as well. I probably won't turn that bit to paint, but just as if the idea of a hair is sweeping down. Right, making sure my brush is really clean now. I don't want the red in it. I'm just going to turn all this. Oops, tiny bit of orange there, but that's fine. All this very neatly to paint using my brush. Quite often I'll squeeze my brush out with my hands or just wipe it onto a bit of kitchen roll because I don't want the brush to be dripping wet as I go in here. So not much left to do now. What I am going to do is just use, I'm going to sharpen it first, use my red to give me a tiny little nose and a little mouth. I'm going to put my earrings in here in blue, but I'm not going to change that. Then I'm going to use a black here, my black watercolour pencil, just to, just to go around the gloves there. Everything else has got a colour around it, but they just need something. I'm not going to turn anything to paint here, I'm just going to leave it. So her gloves come. Now you can either, I'm just sharpening that black so I want it super sharp. You can either do the pen, the eyes using your black watercolour pencil or, because what we do want is this dark bit here, or you can use a pen. So I'm going to come around there like that. And I want to put in these little eyelashes coming off. If you find the watercolour pencil doesn't give you the detail, enough detail, then don't worry, just use a black pen. Don't forget our little eyelashes. If we come back with the yellow, we want to just put in those eyebrows. And to finish it off, you can either do this with a yellow or with a black, or I'm going to just go around her hair a little bit with the orange, just to make it stand out a little bit more. And that is our Princess Peach. Hope that you really loved that. It's quite simple, isn't it, when you take it back down to the really basic shapes. Remember, if you've enjoyed that and you've not done Mario or Yoshi or Toad, take a look back in the archive. There's loads and loads. There's a playlist of uh, characters from video games. So. Take a look there and you will find all the other characters. We are going to be back tomorrow. It's going to be Elizabeth tomorrow with a draw with the grandparents. And she is really celebrating spring and beautiful spring flowers with a lovely snowdrop. Uh, so make sure you join her then.